welcome to uh, plan with me. So we're going to be working in my journal. I'm going to be working in my bullet journal um, for May. And you know, it's almost May now. So I figured better late than never. Um, so let's go ahead and open up. Um, if those of you who I didn't see really quick, we'll go through those of you who didn't see my um, bullet journal flip through. I'll show you my April spread, which is uh, this daisies. Um, so it's kind of a daisy theme with gray and yellow is the color scheme. And I drew some daisies throughout. I've got calendar budgets, YouTube, uh, fitness trackers here, and then my weekly spreads. Um, been doing a lot of journaling and keeping track of food. Although now I have a new app on my, I have a new phone. And I have an app on my phone that helps me keep track of my food so I don't have to keep track of it in my journal. So that will be less going on here. It'll more be about journaling and keeping track of my life. Um, there was a week that I didn't really do anything. And then I caught back up this last week and here I was testing some colors for this month. So this is going to be May. And I already penciled in the sketch, so we're just going to get started, and I'm going to start lining it, and yeah, we're going to see how it's going. So this month's theme is kind of connection. Um, I started with my cover page here that has a like maypole with ribbons, and since everybody's social distancing or physical distancing these days... Um, I thought this was a nice way because I wanted to like, it's May for May Day and the Maypole. But I also wanted to like throw in that, you know, connection. So each of the ribbons is a thread of connection between us. So I thought, yeah, that was my idea. <laughs> um, I hope you like it. If you do, um, let me know. Um, and if you decide to do something similar, that would be great. And um, you can show me those. Um... I don't know. I don't have a hashtag or anything figured out yet. Um, you know, you could just put them on Instagram and I guess hashtag um, Mandy IRL bullet journal. I don't know. Um, gosh, I wish I thought this out. Um, I'm not used to this. So, um, or you could just leave me links or photos. I guess you can. I don't know if you can put photos and comments in videos. I'll have to look that up. Or you guys can just try it and let me know. Um, but I would, yeah. That's my theme. Anyway, so yeah, each little ribbon, I wrote a little word on it. Um, there's one for love, one for courage, one for kindness, and one for hope. Because these are the feelings I hope that we are sharing with each other um, and during this time in life. So yeah, um, hopefully life is finding you well. I should probably be doing this in my fine liner, but it's acting up, so I really don't feel like messing with it, doing all this drawing. And doing the drawing in the big bold line is fine. Um, I'll do the words in the fine liner. It's cool. So you can see the f this is coming along. And I just want to take a minute and chat with you. Um, like I said, I hope life is finding you well. I know I am... A little down right now at times um, I'm finding it hard to get motivated that's why this video is coming out very last minute um, because I've been planning this video for like two weeks and just never get around to actually sitting down and doing it because I am still working um, 8 to 5 Monday through Friday and when I get home after work I kind of just want to like chill out and vegetate and like escape the world so I've been new watching YouTube and I recently discovered chiropractic popping videos so that's what I've been doing and tomorrow I have an appointment with a chiropractor yay because all this life nonsense has got me like I feel there's stress and yeah, lately I've just been like, everybody's ready to get back from their work from home staycation or work from home, you know, get back to the office. I'm ready for my work from home days. 
Um, I was really excited. My job was like going to give us like one day a week work from home that lasted for two weeks. And that was like three weeks ago. And I'm like, I want to work from home again. I mean, it's just training I can do at home. But I like set myself up like scheduled training that I want to do at home for like YouTube and like artistic stuff and voiceover stuff. Things that I really can't do at work. Um, and yeah, I'm not having a chance to do those. So I think I just need some time off to like do stuff. So the top of the page, I just put we are all connected. Um, I wanted to put something else there, but I, I don't remember what it was. And then down at the bottom, and I'm not doing any fancy fancy lettering or calligraphy. This is literally my cursive handwriting. So my script. So there. Um, I might go back. I don't know. Should we make it bolder? Sure. Um, actually, let's get the brush pen and try and make it look fancy. So yeah, let me know how life is treating you if you've been at work, if you've been at home doing the work from home or if you've been uh, laid off, um, if you're looking forward to getting back to work, um, yeah, I mean, or if you're like me and you're, you've been working and you're like fed up, um, you're just ready to take some time off. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Anyway, not to complain, I am thankful to be working, so please don't get me wrong in that. I am not bemoaning the fact that I am working. I am, I'm thankful that I'm working because there are people who are not. Um, anyway, so that's enough of me ranting, I guess. Um, and if anybody has any good videos or tips for calligraphy or brush pen use for left-handers, let me know. I'm terrible with brush pens because I'm left-handed and so I'm always pushing into the brush and I'm trying my best to learn how to use it um, it's, calligraphy is weird for me. I haven't learned it yet. Maybe, maybe that's something I should look up. Hmm. Maybe I should go on Skillshare. Um, this is not sponsored by Skillshare, so it would be nice if it was. And yeah, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and just let the video go. And I hope uh, you enjoy whatever music I decide to put over this lovely little drawing. I thought I'd take a minute to talk about the colors I'm using in case you are interested in doing something similar because um, that's always helpful. Um, this is a, it's not in focus, a uh, Tombow 603 um, dual brush, dual tip brush so that's from Tombow, color 603. It's a nice lilac, um, really fancy Big bright liner in blue. Um, it's a highlighter, but it's a nice blue. And then this is another Tombow. This is it's kind of rubbed off. I believe 195. It's a bright like grassy green. And then I have a stamp marker from American Crafts, and it is in the color grapefruit number six two six one eight. I will put them all in the description down below. Um, I also have a no-name generic marker that's sort of brown, perhaps, maroon. Um, it's quite dried up and it's quite dark and that's going to be my pole. And then my pens, a Micron 08 for my thick lines a Copic Multiliner SP in a 0 0.35 for my thin lines. I think it's getting dried up because I'm having trouble using it and I might be finding a new thing. By the way, 
speaking of, if you're watching this and you have recommendations on fountain pens, I am interested in buying a fountain pen and looking for recommendations. And then moving on, my brush pen is a Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen um, in a brush. It's in black 199. Yep, that's it. And then um, I will later be using gel pens from the dollar store in blue, light blue, and green. There's no brand name on them because they're from the dollar store. Okay, I'm gonna, that's enough of the information. I'm gonna continue in color and, and let you go back to enjoying the music and relaxing. See you later.
that's it for now. So yeah, I'm gonna go in and put in my paydays and the moon cycles and yeah, this is pretty much the spread. I have the ribbons running through everything. I decided to make a master list of to-dos, record my uh, YouTube video info and then all of my days are gonna be little flag ribbons like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Um, uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to know when I upload my next video. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.